What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. Uh, this video is a follow up to the first uh, video I made with my P7. This is going to be giving you a DI sound. So all I'm doing is plugging directly in to my Focusrite DI box, and that's going into my computer, into the, the recording software. Uh, all other audio is going to be coming from the camera and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. So I'm playing this in passive mode to start out, and then I'll mix in some uh, uh, active mode stuff like slap and finger jump later on. But uh, this is going to be a really short video, and then I'll probably post another video of me actually like messing around and not talking or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, so passive mode, tone out, both pickups is what you got. <laughs> Okay, uh, on the P pickup, which is the front one here. J pickup, same type of thing. Okay. Uh, put my tone all the way in. Um, both pickups, tone all the way in. Okay. Uh, let's go to the P pickup. Let me adjust this a little bit. to the J pickup here and I'm gonna lower my volume a little bit okay put it on both pickups again tone all the way up I'll do uh, some slab stuff Come on, I'm not, I, I don't have any grooves or anything set up for this, this is all improv crap. Uh, Go to the P pickup now. Something along the lines of what I just did for slap. every position that's I mean you can mix in a little bit more P pickup than being directly in the center but that's the basic idea for passive mode uh, I am going to lower my uh, setting on my DI a little bit more because I'm about to kick into active mode and the preamp on this thing is pretty pretty OP overpowered so um, I'm gonna set it up for traditional scooped slap tone and uh so i'm gonna boost bass about 75 percent i'm gonna boost treble uh let's go about 75 percent from the well 75 of the whole thing but more than half from the dent in the middle you'll feel it if you have the bass and i'll lower uh mid 
by uh, I'll go to 25% with mid. So 75 on bass, uh, 25 on mid, and 75 on treble. So it's a little scoop thing. And I'll keep the mid sweeper in the middle. This is what it sounds like. <sighs> actually bring up treble a little bit more let's bring up bass all the way and cut mid all the way out so this is zero on mid a hundred on bass a hundred on treble mid sweeper in the middle master tone all the way up between both pickups to the middle so bass 100 mid at 50 treble at 100 uh, mid sweeper still in the middle uh, master tone all the way up <laughs> Fifty on mid, hundred on treble, uh, between both pickups, master tone all the way up, mid sweeper all the way to the, uh, let's call it the low end range, not the higher range, turning towards the neck, but um, I think it's three hundred k. Let's uh, go there, see what that sounds like. <laughs> the way to the extreme on the 3000s range see what that sounds like um, put that back in the center and uh, finger style on the 300s range let's just call it that range or 5,000s range. Let's try that one. So there's that. Um, to be honest with you, most of the time, I don't ever really go to extremes whenever I'm setting up my EQ. So just to give you an idea how I normally play with it, uh, my setup is uh, let's call it bass, uh, bass at about 60, uh, treble probably at like 80, and I put my mids at about 40, and I usually play, at least now, I favor the P pickup, so I'll say I uh, put the, the pickup selector at about maybe like 70-ish, if you can get a judge of that, 75, you know. Maybe something like that. And I always play my, my master tone all the way up. Unless I'm doing like uh, low stuff where I need to be um, like staccato type stuff. So if I'm ever doing like some...
stuff like that. Then I'll take my master tone out and uh, I'll do, I'll play a little bit over my bridge. video has been informative and uh, I do stand behind this bass. I love this bass. It cost me about 600 uh, you know, shipped to my door. Yeah, it's great bass. I've been playing with it a lot. I haven't been recording much. I'm got, about to get back to that. But uh, yeah, love this thing. Love, love this bass. And again, this is the Marcus Miller P7. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, it's Marcus Miller P7. Uh, and that's going to conclude the video. I know it's been a little bit long. I think it's 11 minutes. Yeah, 12 minutes. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for uh, rocking with me. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for whenever I post a new video. Uh, and share. Share this, man. Share this. Get this message out there, man. Side bases are relatively cheap and they're really good really good bases man like really good bases i got my sick my other one my baby my vintage back here these are my go-to girls i got it right by my drums these are my go-to bases for any any type of music so yeah uh till next time this is alan brown aka bullet the kid y'all be easy